money wants it all back. Or what? There was no business. The man left me with nothing. He's bluffing, Pat. He's clutching at straws, that's all. He doesn't stand a chance and he knows it. Are you sure? He's got a lot of friends out there would help him set up again. After all, his house is still in his name. And he's still his daughter. Now listen, Pat. I've been in the car business for well over 30 years now, and believe you me, I've had to deal with a few dodgy customers in my time, but I've never let any of them get the better of me, ever. If he tries anything, he's not going to get very far. Pat, I can't find my P-shirt. All right, love, I'll come have a look. Now, Pat, yeah. now stop worrying. Nothing is going to happen to this family, I promise you. Where have you looked, you Zimmer. Know? Um, right. Oh, David, uh, let's talk. No, not here. Um, shall I come to your office? No, no, I don't want to be interrupted. Um, hey, can you come to my house in half an hour? What's happened? Can you be there? Yeah, yeah, of course. Good. Hello, boy. Oh. Morning, David. Morning. Early for you, innit? Yeah, well, I've got business to sort out, and I? That reminds me. Well, listen, I'd better shoot off. It's going to be late, all right? Can I have a word for you? Yeah. About our wedding arrangements. Well, after all, that's what dads are meant to do, innit? Plan important role in their daughter's weddings. Um, can I talk to you about this later, darling? A bit pushed for time at the moment. So I had Roy come over to Vic last night, didn't I, over a cosy little chat? He wants me out. What? That's right. He wants me out of Pat's life. And do you know why? Because according to Roy, I don't have a say. In fact, I don't have any rights at all. I tell you something, that man's going to regret the day he ever laid eyes on Pat or any of my family by the time I finish with him. I'll see you later. See you later. Right, so what's all this about then? Cheers. Hmm? I had a talk with Frank last night. I found out exactly what he's after. And? Well, let's put it this way. It's not good news. He wants the house, the kids, and the business. Oh, I knew it. Just a matter of time, wasn't it? Well, that's Frank for you. He makes up the rules as he goes along. I'm not going to let him ruin Pat's life. Not again. I will do whatever it takes to get him off our backs. I don't know about you, Roy, but if Frank intends to play dirty, I vote we hit him first and we hit him hard. And for a start, we could go down the police and tell everyone about the fire. We don't know for certain that uh, Frank was connected with that fire. He paid Phil Mitchell to do it. We know that. Do we? Oh, I thought Mum might have told you. Mm, even so, we still can't prove it. I mean, there was a thorough investigation at the time. If they couldn't make a connection with Frank and that fire then, what chance have we got now? And anyway, we don't want to bring Phil into this. I mean, we've got enough on our hands without having the Mitchells involved. So what are we going to do to stop him? We don't rush in. We wait until Frank actually does something. So, how does the business stand? Well, we're covered there. I've checked it out with Miss Elisita. Mum, Ricky and me are co-directors. Can you trust Ricky? You leave Ricky to me. All right, but I want to handle Frank. Hey, good morning, David. All right, mate, bit early for you, isn't it? <laughs> Barry, what are you doing here? I've come to find you. I've got some papers for you to sign. Uh, look, Barry, yeah, go and make yourself a cup of coffee, will you, son? Uh, I'll be with you in a minute. I won't be long. <laughs> look, Roy, no disrespect, but are you sure you're up to all this? I know exactly what I've got to do. All I ask is you let me get on with it. Agreed? Well, so what are you going to do, then? It's very simple, David. I'm going to make a few phone calls. So you just leave everything to me. Hey, there's one more thing. Pat doesn't know anything about this, and I want it kept that way. Understood? Mm. Listen, do you think he wants her back? Yes, I do. And that is precisely why I want to deal with this in my own way. You understand? Cheers. So, how long does Ricky think it's going to be, you know, before the divorce actually comes through? Well, I don't know exactly, but it shouldn't be long, eh? Mum, I'm so excited. What do you think of me listening? Well, yeah, I think you've got everything covered. Mm? Looks fine. Listen, love, um, you're not expecting us to pay for it, are you? Because we just can't afford it. No, of course not. Me and Ricky are putting a bit in, and David will pay for me dress. Oh, yeah, he knows about this, does he? No, oh, he's my dad. He should want to. Listen, I've got a brilliant bridal catalogue. Gives a week-by-week -week breakdown of what I should be doing leading up to the big day. But you haven't fixed a date yet, have you? 
No, not yet, but I'll have to get that sorted out. And then me and you can go shopping. You can get yourself a nice new hat. A hat? Yeah, it'd be brilliant if you wore an hat. Apparently, the bride's mothers always wear hats. All oh, right, I wonder what I should be wearing that then, <laughs> I? My hat. Listen, I'll leave this for you to have a look at. Tell me what you think, yeah? Thank you, love. Uh, you know a girl's wedding day? Well, it's, uh, it's the most important day of her life, yeah? It's a big decision, isn't it? Yeah, I know. I can't wait. You're going to tell me what's happening here? Look, I know what this is all about, Frank Butcher, right? Leave it, Barry. Look, I only want to try and help you. There's nothing for you to do. All right, so David was round here first thing and there's nothing going on. Look, what, does Frank want to chuck him out of deals on wheels? Does he want Pat back? Look, you give me the word and I'll sort it out for you right now. There is nothing to sort out. I don't want you getting involved in something you can't handle. Barry, you are worrying unnecessarily. It's all under control. You're not happy about this wedding, are you? No, I'm not. But well, I'm going to have to go along with it. I mean, there's nothing else I can do, is there? But Ricky, better not put foot wrong this time or else. I mean, look, he's, he's 22, he's got a failed marriage behind him, and he's already had an affair while he's been with my daughter. I mean, what's to stop him going off and having another one, eh? Perhaps he's learnt his lesson. Listen, Carol, uh, I don't think you should say anything to be angry. Oh, don't worry. As far as Ricky's concerned, I've learned to keep my mouth well and truly shut. Morning. I'm telling you, mate, there's nothing going on. We're not up to anything. Look, Frank, it's not a problem. Would you stop worrying about it? I've got a dash, mate. Uh, yeah. Yeah, later. Shut up. Mum, all right? Sorry, I'm not disturbing you, Uh, no, no, of course not. I came over earlier and you weren't here. Yeah, I had a bit of business to solve. What can I do for you? I was wondering if, uh, if you'd spoken to Roy at all. No, why? I'm worried about him, David. It's just that he went to see Frank in the Vic and I'm frightened he might get hurt. Roy will be fine, Mum. He's tougher than you think. Anyway, I'm not going to let anything happen. I promise. Everybody keeps telling me not to let Frank get to me, but I can't help it. He's watching me. Just like he's biding his time. Mashed or French fries? Oh, chips. So, get excited about the wedding then. Definitely. And are you planning a really big wedding this time? What's this? Well, it's tired now, isn't it? Yeah, but it's burnt. Only round the edges. I'll leave. Please yourself. Yeah, Ricky. There's a pie for you on the house. Well, here. Cheers. Do you mind if I join you? What's the matter? You all right? Yeah. What shouldn't I be? Those old cow. Listen, I just wondered if you thought any more about what we said the other day. I thought we could talk some more, you know. You never know, it might even help you. I thought we could have a nice meal together, you know, go to cinema, but just like the old days. Well, look, I've got a lot on this week. What's that, though, then? What Phil be doing is not, I better get back. Ricky, is it? You've got to make up your mind, you're kind of both fish, though. I'm sorry, I've got to go. Everything all right there, then? Speak to you soon, then. Don't leave it too long, otherwise you should be gone. All right? Hello. Good. Cheers. What do you want? What do I want? Hmm. Well, that's quite a question, David. 
Well, for starters, I want my house and I want my kids. But Mum doesn't want you. Who's talking about Pat? And then, of course, there's my business. My business. Now, let's be a little bit realistic here, Frank. When you walked out, there was no business. But there is now. So if you don't mind, I'd like to get on with it. <laughs> you know, David, I don't always see through you. You're one of life's failures, aren't you, eh? Never quite made it. Let's have a look here. You walk out on a wife and two kids, then you do time of fraud, and then what? You wind up on Pat's doorstep, feed her some sob story, and it all starts to pay off rather nicely, doesn't it, eh? Is that right? And then is yours truly. Disappears. And there it all is. Pat, the house, and the business. Oh, now, I think your time's finally up, don't you? I think you've had quite enough of my life because, you see, David, I want it all back. And who are you to tell me, eh? Oh, so I'm the failure, am I? <laughs> and what does that make you? You're not well, Frank. It's a breakdown, wasn't it? Terrible thing, mental illness. Now, don't get me wrong, I sympathise. But you're still not well. It can take years to get over a breakdown. I want it all back. Do you reckon you can handle any kind of responsibility? I mean, look at you. What have you become? You're a potman. You're living on someone else's charity. You're a nothing. You're one of life's misfits. You can't even keep it together, can you? It's sad. You don't stand a chance in hell of getting anything back, and you know it. Shall I tell you what's really behind all this? It's mum, isn't it? You, you just can't stand the about. thought of her being with someone else. She deserted you, and you never thought that would happen. And I'll tell you something, Frank. She's happy. She's really happy. Best day's work you ever did was walk out of this place, because at last she's found someone decent. Someone who really cares. And not only that, he's everything you're not. He's the director of a successful car firm. He's popular. He's loyal. He's hardworking. He's twice the man Shut you'll ever be. It. Even Janine's crazy about Shut it. Shut it! Truth earn a bit, is it, Frank? Hmm? Oh, you want the truth, do you? Well, Roy puts up with you. Because he doesn't see through you like I do, does he? Hey, the games you play with people's lives, how you bleed and dry. Well, I tell you something else, my old son. He may not have a clue what you're really like, but Pat does. She never trusted you, not one little bit. And she had every reason not to, didn't she, eh? And I'll tell you something else. When you first come back here, she couldn't stand the sight of you. And deep down, she still knows what a slimy, manipulating piece of garbage you really are. She was desperate, and there you were. She tolerates you, that's all. But I tell you this, she never really loved you. And you know it. Go on through. What's this for? Well, uh, Janine's gone to her friends to do her homework, so, um... I thought I'd surprise you. Thanks. Thank you. This is lovely, Roy. Now, uh, listen, Pat, um, I know this isn't going to be easy for you, but um, I want you to do something for me. What's that? I want you to know that I am here for you, and I always will be. I mean, just try and relax a bit more, will you? I mean, don't let this trouble with Frank wear you down. I'll look after you, I promise. None of this is yours. All those years of hard work, making contacts, building up the business, they're all mine. All you had to do was get on the phone to some of my old mates, and there it all is on a plate. But I'm telling you, pal, your days are numbered. Why? What are you going to do, Frank? Burn the place down and kill someone else. Tell me, how'd you sleep at night, eh? <sighs> Oh, that poor kid. Oh, burn alive. He's only a little bit older than Ricky, wasn't he? And who was it that sorted the mess out you left behind, eh? No. It's you that owes me, mate, not the other way round. I want my house. I want my kids. And I want my business. And I will do whatever it takes to get them back. You'll never do it. Not while I'm still alive, you won't. Like 
I said. Whatever it takes. <laughs> 